Today's lead code challenge question is all elements in two binary search trees. So the question says that we are given two binary search trees, root 2 and root 1. And we have to return a list containing all integers from both the trees and they are sorted in ascending order. So in example number 1, we have these two trees, root 1 and root 2. And the integers are given as a list. And we have to return all the integers in these two trees in ascending order. We have these trees, root 1 and root 2, the smallest number is 1 and the largest number is 8. And we return 1, 1, 8 and 8. So this question has been asked about 5 times in Facebook over the last 6 months and it's a really good question. So let's move on to the explanation part and let's see how we can solve this question. So before solving the question, let's first see what the binary search tree looks like. So binary search tree is a tree in which the nodes on the right side of the root are larger than the root and nodes on the left side of the root are smaller than the root. So if you look at this example, we have a root 8 and on the right side we have 10 which is greater than the root. And on the left side, we have 3, which is smaller than the root. Same with 3. If you look at the left side of 3, we have 1, which is smaller than 3. And on the right side of 3, we have 6, which is larger than 6. Now, same with 10. If we look at the right node of 10, we have 14, which is greater than 10. Now, when we come at 14, the left root, which is 13, is smaller than 14. Same with 6. The left node, which is 4, is smaller than 6. So, the left node of the root, is always smaller than the root and the node which is right to the root is larger than the root. So now we know what a binary search tree is. Now the next question is how can we get all the elements of this tree? In a binary search tree we can get all the elements by three ways which are pre-order, post-order and in order. So what are these orders? In pre-order the root comes before the left and right nodes. When we search this tree, we first come to the root, then we come to the left, and then we come to the right. And this is how the result is given to us. So in this tree, if we are traversing it in a pre-order way, the first thing that we get is the root. Then we come to the left node. So the left node is 3. Then we come to the left node of this left node, which is 1. Now since this path is exhausted, we now come to the right node of this 3, which is 6. After the 6, now this 6 has a left node which is 4 and it doesn't have any right node. So we have finished this and this path. Now we go back to the root and we come to the right nodes. So the right node is 10 and the right node of 10 is 14. Now this 14 has only a left node which is 13. So in pre-order, this is how the nodes are given to us. Next, let's take a look at the in-order traversal. So for in-order traversal, we first pick the left tree, then the root and then the right subtree. First, we look at the left node of 8 which is 3 and then we look at the left node of 3 which is 1. So we enter 1. Now after the left node, we enter the root which is 3 and after the root, we enter the right node which is 6. Now when we come to 6, we enter the left node which is 4 and this 6 doesn't have any right node. So this path and this path is exhausted. After the left subtree is done, we enter the root which is 8 and then we move to the right subtree. We come to 10 and we see that this 10 doesn't have any left node. So we enter the root which is 10 and then we move to the next node which is 14. Now this 14 has a left node which is 13 and after the left node is done, we move to the root which is 14. And now our search is complete. So this is the list we get using the in order traversal. If you look closely, you can see that this list is in ascending order starting from 1 till 14. Lastly, let's see post order. So in post order, we first pick the left node, then the right nodes, and at last the root. So for our tree, we go to the root, and then we move to the left node. When we come to this tree, we check for its child. So we come to the left child, which is 1, and this one doesn't have any further children. So we enter 1 in our list. After this, we go back to the root 3 and we check for its right child. So we come to the right child and this right child has a further left child which is 4. So we enter 4 in our list. Now when we come back to 6, this 6 doesn't have any right child. So we enter 6 in our list. So my this subtree is done. 
Now I go back to 3 and I enter 3 in my list. Now my this subtree is also done. So after the left part of my tree is done, I move to the right part and I come to 10. So this 10 doesn't have any left child. So I come to the right child and this right child has a left child which is 13. So I enter 13 into my list. I go back to the root 14 and this 14 doesn't have any right child. So I enter 14 in my list. So my this path is also done. I go back to 10 and I enter 10 in my list. So my right subtree is also done. So after my left and right subtree are done, at last I enter the root. So I enter the root in my list and my list is complete. Now for the example given in the question. We know two things. That we have to sort our list in ascending order. That means starting from the smallest integer to the largest integer. And we know that in a BST, the left side of the root is the smaller side and the right side of the root is the larger side. So for our question, we need to traverse the tree in a way which picks the smaller number first and then the largest number. So out of the pre, in and post order, which order do you think is best for our question? Clearly it's in order. Why? Because it is going to pick the left node first, then the root and then the right. In this way, according to a BST, we are going to pick the smallest number first, then the root and then right which is the largest number. If we look at the example in the question, for these three, the in order traversal will be the following. So we are going to pick one first, then two, and then four. And for this tree, we are going to pick zero, then one, and then three. Now we have these two lists in ascending order. And now that we have these two lists in ascending order, we can just merge them and create a single list which is in ascending order. And this way we get our answer. So let me repeat it again. First, we need an in order traversal on our trees and then we need to merge them. After merging, we need to return a sorted list. And this is our answer. Now the question arises, how can we traverse the tree in in order? So as in majority of the binary tree questions, we can use recursion to traverse over the tree. So this is a pretty easy question. First we need to use recursion for the in order traversal and then we need to merge the two list. At the end, we are going to return a sorted list. So that's it for the explanation. Now we will see the code. In the meanwhile, please give this video a thumbs up. This really motivates us to make more videos and helps us to grow. Now let's see the code. So as I said, I am going to use in order traverse it for our question. So in line number 11, I am initializing this function in order in which I am passing the root. And before that, on line number 10, I am creating an empty list named as res which will return our output. So in this helper function, we are using recursion. And in recursion, we always need a base case. So our base case is that if the root is none, I am going to return zero. Next, since we are using in order, the first thing that I pass is the left node, and then I pass the root, and then I pass the value of right node. And this way, we get the smallest value to the largest value. Next, in line number 18, I'm using this helper function in both of my trees, which are root 1 and root 2. And this function gives me the values of both the trees, root 1 and root 2. And at last, on line number 20, I'm going to return my sorted result. So that was the code. Now let's submit it. And my code got accepted. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.